STATE SENATORS ARE DIGGING FOR ANSWERS AFTER A STATE AGENCY FALSELY AWARDED THOUSANDS OF DOLLARS IN UNEMPLOYMENT BENEFITS. IOWA WORKFORCE DEVELOPMENT ADMITTED LAST WEEK THAT IT ISSUED BENEFITS TO AT LEAST 85 UNDESERVING IOWANS. OUR RYAN SMITH IS LIVE OUTSIDE THE STATE HOUSE WHERE THE IWD OFFICIALS HAVE JUST WRAPPED UP THEIR TESTIMONY. RYAN? KEVIN, THE AGENCY PROVIDED UNEMPLOYMENT BENEFITS TO THOSE IOWANS IN THE WEEK OF, week of MARCH 10TH TO PEOPLE WHO DID NOT SEEK THEM OUT. STATE SENATORS TODAY TOLD ME THE CONCERN HERE IS HOW MUCH MONEY EXACTLY WAS LOST AND WHY IT WAS KEPT QUIET. AGENCY MANAGER MICHAEL WILKINSON SAYS A SYSTEM MALFUNCTION WAS TO BLAME. IT PREVENTED IWD FROM PROCESSING UPDATED INFORMATION FROM RECIPIENTS. WE DIDN'T KNOW THIS CHANGE WAS GOING TO EFFECT, BUT WE KNEW THAT THIS SYSTEM WAS BRITTLE AND ANY CHANGE TO THE SYSTEM COULD CAUSE PROBLEMS. IN THIS PARTICULAR CASE, IT CAUSED A SERIOUS PROBLEM. We didn't know that. Director Teresa Whaler reported the malfunction resulted in 85 undeserving Iowans receiving benefits totaling about $27,000. But some state senators say those numbers are misleading. Turns out the agency is only counting the recipients who came forward with the mistake. It's unknown exactly how much money was lost. We don't know how many Iowans were overpaid, and and for the director to have stated at the governor's press conference that it involved twenty-seven thousand dollars and eighty-five employees, well, those were the only ones we knew about. After discovering the overpayments, regional operations manager David Eckland sent out this email urging staffers to stay quiet. It states in part, do not under any circumstance forward this email to anyone or there will be repercussions. These employees were, you know, threatened with their jobs if they, if they spoke to anybody. We were telling the fraud investigators not to spread misinformation, mm -hmm. as at least one of them had. And late this afternoon, we did hear from the agency's director. Now, she did admit that internal email was strongly worded, but denied it had anything to do with covering up the agency's mistake. I don't How? believe there was an effort to conceal or hide any of the glitch. Okay. The whole department who interfaced with the public knew what happened. We happen to have a person on that who worked in that unit who was giving misinformation purposefully. And some today in this meeting asked why the department doesn't try to recoup this money. Well, Whaler late this afternoon said that financially it would not be worth the agency's effort. All right, Ryan, lots going on. Thank you very much.